Okay, gang, <clears throat> a little a little Second Amendment rant um, about our rights and freedoms of where uh, many of our families came from. Our families came from war-torn war places, poor places. Even the illegals today, you know, they're coming from places that are messed up, but they don't have war, um, not even civil war. Um, and they're not coming in the right way. It's point number one. Point number two is we probably do need a few more people in this country, but we don't need to be letting them in from elsewhere. Um, we need to let the American people figure that out. We have established uh, legal immigration, refugee uh, numbers, and we should stick with them and not have an open crazy border where we have a million people illegally, probably more coming in every year, and the 1.2 million that we take in legally. So, you know, when we have, you know, places like New York and Chicago, where, you know, I, I grew, grew up and was raised, um, and I live in the area still to this day. This is bugging me. I'm getting rid of it because I've been reorganizing. So that's one of the reasons that here in the United States, United States of America, we have this. We have scales. We have justice systems. We have an executive branch. We have the judicial branch, the legislative branch. And then we have our states. We have a federal constitution. We have a we have state constitutions. We have local laws. We've got laws. That, I think the IRS, I think it's 100,000 or 50,000 pages. We're all lawbreakers. There's so many laws in this country, there's not one person that's not broken a law. Not a one. Not a one. So that's why we got this. We got scales, right? So they want our guns. I don't know who it is. Some people say it's the globalists, some grand conspiracy. I don't know who it is, but I know they're coming, whoever it is. They ain't getting them. Not in this country. We have a Second Amendment. They're trying to repeal it. You know, good for them, uh, but they're actually doing it backwards. They're 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 actually trying to pass a different amendment that just kind of curtails it. I, I don't think that's going to work all uh, uh, that well. Um, really, you got to repeal the Second Amendment. They're coming after the First Amendment. They don't want me talking. They don't want you talking. You know, if you say anything about uh, the Wuhan or. Uh, elections, you, you know, hanging chads and, you know, all sorts of stuff from way back, you know, and now it's like a crime. You can't, you can't talk. Well, I'm talking. I don't care. First Amendment. Why? Because you're looking at it right here. You know, they try to lock us down with climate and stuff like that. I'm hoping that the churches stay open. I'm hoping that everybody stays open and just sticks their, their, their middle finger up at all these despots. And, and I think there's going to be a lot of people who would volunteer to go to people's businesses and churches and help them protect. And, and I don't think the police get paid enough money uh, if every church had 15 parishioners armed and ready to protect their First Amendment, the freedom of religion, their freedom of speech, their Second Amendment rights against the backbone of the despots, which are the police. We get enough people just to do that. Most parishes have a couple hundred people at least. Many have thousands. Just go packing and tell them, no, we're not going to close. And that'll send a strong message to them that they can't do it ever again. Um, three of Seven Project. I don't know if people watch him, uh, but uh, he's got some deep thoughts, and uh, he really... Really had a great video. I recommend people go see him. I'm not going to link anything in any box below. That's because you know, 3 of 7 Project, it was today's video. Today is the uh, 20th of September. 
and uh, it was his views on the police. And you know, there's a lot of people. If he's, if I'm thinking the way I'm thinking, it's it's more than just one person. There's many people thinking the way I think. Why? Because humans are pretty much wired the same, um, for the most part. Um, sometimes we take opposite views on what we feel is correct, but we think we think the same. We we solve problems the same. But we, we view problems differently. Some people think a pro something's a problem. Other people think it's a benefit. So these are things that we have to work out as human beings. And in this country here where we do have 330 million people with, we're probably up to, who knows, gosh darn, man. They don't know how many grandpappy guns are out there. I mean, I'll, they, know, they, they estimate 400 400 million man i'm thinking there's a half a trillion guns in the united states i mean they're probably buried in backyards of farms there's probably farmers who've buried generations of guns and ammo who the hell knows how they say there's probably trillions trillions of rounds of ammo in this country why guys it's not just people like me who have thoughts of what could possibly happen. And, you know, when I studied the Constitution, you know, we took our Constitution test in school. We, we talked about a tyrannical government. That's why there was a Second Amendment and a First Amendment. But now it's like, oh, oh you're, you're a nationalist, you're a evangelical, you're a this, you're a that, you're an ist, 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 That's what you are. So on my ists, I'm going to let everybody go. Um, if you have a family, God bless your family. God bless you. I'm not afraid to say it. Matter of fact, uh, I'm Greek Orthodox, and uh, I have to get in the habit. I've been saying it, but I have to get in the habit of start doing my cross and be thankful You know, every time uh, that I eat a meal. Um, I have a Cubano who does. He's not afraid of whatever restaurant, wherever he's at, he doesn't care. He does his cross. And I, I think I'm going to start too because um, I've got, and we in this country, we have a lot of things to be blessed with. Um, and we're going to keep our blessings. That's why our families came here, came to, to protect our ancestors' future and past. I love you all. I wish no harm on anyone, even the police that I want disbanded and the military that I want disbanded, abolished. I don't want anybody hurt. And believe it or not, if there aren't any police, you can't hurt one. If there isn't any military, they can't get killed. You know, that's it. And we can find ways of building forts and, and, and we have technology where we can protect our border, build a wall. We need a Coast Guard and a Border Patrol, not police on U.S. citizens. No laws except constitution on citizens. Yeah, you know what? You were convicted of a felony. You get out of jail, you get your gun rights back. You get your voting rights back. Then you didn't, does, you, why, why would you let them out then? You know, they say, well, you served your debt to society. Really? Oh, I dropped the damn camera down. There we go. Sorry, gang. Really? So they don't get their voting rights and their second amendment rights? What about their freedom of speech rights? They can't even get a job. So some of the progressive views out there, like the, the cash bail, I'm with it 100%. Because we don't have speedy trials, and people get lost in the prison and in the court systems. It's a bunch of BS. I agree with what we call the crazies on the other side. I'm one of them when it comes to the cash bail. We have to process people quicker. Guilty, yes or no. they got to be tried by peers. So we got to have courtrooms full of people who are ready for jury duty every day and try these people guilty not guilty and not give them zero penalties and our society with more guns you know we'll get the militia we'll we'll get these people rounded up and they'll be tried by peers and found guilty or not guilty and we move on we don't need police. 1851, Boston, the first police force in the United States. Now there's million. 
a million sworn police officers, about that, between 900 and a million. And I believe our whole military complex is like under two. Marines are 189,000. You got 200,000 IRS agents that now have AR-15s. For what? It's crazy. You pull those Marines up to somebody's damn coastline with aircraft carriers, and that's it. They said, oh, they're going to topple our country. Bam, done. So what do you need 200,000 IRS agents with, with guns? All right. Al Capone. Yeah, there's a lot of shooting on the streets. I, I see it. You got to, they got to go where the shooting's at, and they ain't going there because they're afraid. They're afraid. A-F-R-A-I-D, afraid. These, 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 they're hypocrites. They're afraid. They're afraid to send their people in there. The people that they have are afraid to go in there. You have to be afraid. Military people are not afraid because they volunteered, at least most of them. So they're going to go into harm's way. Is it scary for them? Yes, but they volunteered. They're, most of them are not afraid. They're going to go in. We saw in Uvalde what happens. Anyways, gang, love you again. Bye.